<laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this little story. It's about this piece of music. It's a very popular piece of music. I'm sure you all know it, but I'll sing the melody right now. Just... Yeah, Pocket Bell's Canon in D. It's a big hit in the classical world, and I know this because I'm a geek. I know what you're thinking. It's like, Rob, you can't be a geek. You play guitar. You're so cool. Okay, you weren't thinking that, but I was. Um, well, I haven't always been this cool because I haven't always played guitar. I started out on the cello. Yeah, cello is a wonderful, beautiful instrument. It's a cool to be an adult that plays a cello. Being a kid that played the cello sucked. Because there's no way to be cool when your instrument is larger than you. When you walk to school with the cello, you're like a wounded gazelle on the Serengeti. Man. The bullies just smell you coming from a mile away. Ooh, I don't know what that thing is, but I know I'm going to break it. <laughs> But I put up with all of the abuse because I love the music that we played. I love everything we played in orchestra, except this. I hate Pachelbel's Canon in D with a passion. I hate it so much because the cello part is the worst cello part ever written in the history of cello parts. It's eight quarter notes that we repeated over and over again. They are as follows. D, A, B, F sharp, G, D, G, A. And that's all we got to play. We repeated those eight notes 54 times. I counted. Because I had nothing else to do. I would sit back and listen to the violins get lovely melodies. The violas would get lovely melodies. The second violins would get lovely melodies, which should just not happen. And the cello, we got stuck with eight crappy, lousy, stinking notes. And I began to wonder why. Why would Pachelbel do that to us? Such a beautiful instrument. And my theory was he once dated a cellist. And she dissed him really bad, and so for the rest of his life, he came up with the worst cello parts he could ever think of. And it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't hear him every day. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rob, don't listen to classical radio anymore. I, it doesn't matter. Pachelbel's following me. It sounds paranoid, but he's following you too. You hear him every day. I don't know, I went to my step-nephew-in-law's eighth grade graduation, and their graduation song was a song by Vitamin C. No. As we go on, we'll remember la da 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 so on the drive home, I turned on some classic rock, some Aerosmith. There was a time when I was so brokenhearted. So I got home, I thought I'd clear my mind with some folk music. No. Listen, children, to my story. It was written long ago. They do Pachelbel, just like everybody does Pachelbel, just to torment me. I don't even go to Taco Bell anymore because it sounds too close. <laughs> I hate Pocket Bell with a passion. I don't even know his first name. It's probably Johan. They're all named Johan. When you think about it, he's the original one-hit wonder. He had one hit 300 years ago. It's my cross to bear my entire life. Where are they now? That's what I want to know. Where are you now, Pocket Bell? VH1's I Love the 1790s. Where is it? And if he would just stay away from music that I loved, it would be better, but he won't. He is shameless. He will follow me to the ends of the earth. I went to Horde Festival thinking, no, he couldn't possibly follow me to the Horde Festival. But you know who's at the Horde Festival? Blues Traveler. So that means that Pachelbel was also at the Horde Festival. So, suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. We're in Berlin or Inch and Tin. Make it a spread move and then you're in. So I figure I'm going to listen to punk rock for the rest of my life. No dice. Do you have the time? To listen to me whine. You know I'm getting really bored. Cause all songs have the same damn chords. Punk music is a joke. It's really just baroque. Am I just paranoid? I wanna push you around, well I will, I will, I wanna push you down, well I will, I wow, it's been good living with you. And my machine head is better than the rest, my machine head is better than the... See the stone set in her eye, see the thorn twist in her... I'm all out of faith, this is how I feel, I'm cold and I ain't shamed, lying naked on the floor. He was a boy, she was a girl, could it be any more obvious, we're not gonna take it. No, we're gonna take it. On your market, set and go now. Got a dream and we just know now. No woman, no cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I find myself in times of trouble, Parker Bell's always following me. I'll see you in hell, Parker Bell. Oh, Parker Bell, Parker Bell. I'll see your ass in hell. I'll see you in hell, Parker Bell. Thank you so 
so much, Penn State. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks. Thanks.